Hi guys, it's Dan from DansBestTech.com. In my video review for the MSI Prestige 14, I discussed how thermals took a hit due to the laptop only having one fan. But then I discussed how gaming performance could be improved by undervolting the GPU. Since some of you asked for more details, in this video, I'll talk about how I did this undervolting and the before and after effects of it during gaming and while working in the CAD application SOLIDWORKS. Stay tuned for more. So first let's talk about the performance with or without the undervolt. Then we'll dive into SOLIDWORKS performance with or without the undervolt. And lastly, I'll go into a step-by-step -step guide for how to apply this undervolt yourself. The undervolt I used set the frequency to around 1400 MHz for all voltages. I don't know if this is technically considered an undervolt. It seems more like an under frequency or frequency lock or underclock, but that's beside the point. It works. So let's go ahead and get started. I tested the following games with or without the undervolt. Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of Tomb Raider, Civilization VI, CSGO, and Fortnite. And I let each game run with maxed out settings for 20 minutes while watching the GPU temperature. The first game I tested was Shadow of Mordor. Without the undervolt, it ran at an average FPS of 54 for a few minutes, but after 5 minutes of benchmarking, Shadow of Mordor dropped to an average FPS of 45. With the undervolt, it ran consistently at 52 FPS. This slight improvement is due to the removal of the minor thermal throttling occurring when the GPU temperature reaches 74 degrees after 5 minutes without the undervolt. Next I tested Shadow of the Tomb Raider. With the undervolt and maxed out settings, it started at 26 FPS during the benchmark, but again, after a few minutes, it started to thermal throttle. In this game, the thermal throttling was even more severe and the FPS dropped to 9. I couldn't even make it through the benchmark once. With the undervolt though, it consistently benchmarked 4 times at 30 FPS. It didn't thermal throttle and it didn't show a drop in FPS. Very satisfying. I then went on to test Civilization 6 again at maxed out settings. It ran great without undervolting between 40 and 50 FPS during the benchmark. It spits out an average frame time of 21 milliseconds, and as you can see, the temperature is getting up there, and it is thermal throttling, but the drop in FPS isn't significant. With the undervolt, it spits out the same FPS range and 21 millisecond frame time. The game just isn't taxing the laptop as hard as Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. CSGO behaves similarly. It just isn't that taxing. It ran at 1080p with maxed out settings and never dropped below 60 FPS. And as you can see, the temperature is getting up there and it is thermal throttling, but the drop in FPS isn't significant. And with the undervolt, I can't tell a difference in the FPS. Fortnite, on the other hand, is demanding enough to show an improvement. Without the undervolt, it started at 1080p with maxed out settings between 30 and 60 FPS. But after a few minutes, there was again thermal throttling, which brought the FPS down to 12. With the undervolt though, the FPS stayed in the upper 40s and 50s. For all you CAD users out there, SOLIDWORKS benchmarks the same with and without the undervolt. The temperature never climbs high enough, so I would say that SOLIDWORKS is usable right out of the box as long as you don't have assemblies with hundreds of parts. So in summary, the games that push the GPU like Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Fortnite show a significant improvement in long-term gaming performance with the undervolt. Long-term meaning greater than 5 minutes. Less demanding or older titles and applications like Civilization VI, CSGO, and even light SOLIDWORKS assemblies don't have an issue running on this laptop right out of the box. They don't thermal throttle and work just fine. Even so, I don't see any drop in performance in these applications and games with the undervolt. Finally, let's quickly discuss how to undervolt the GPU. Bob of All Trades did a great video guide, so I want you to go and watch his video first. I left a link down in the description. My video is just the highlights, some of the changes I saw on the GUI, and the frequencies I used for this laptop. After plugging in your laptop, you need to download and install MSI Afterburner. In MSI Afterburner, hover your mouse over the hardware monitor and press Ctrl F. Then you drag each dot to approximately 1400 MHz. Press the X button, hit apply, and hit apply at startup. That's it. Word of warning though, every laptop GPU is different and 1400 MHz might not be the perfect frequency for you. You might need to play with different frequencies to eliminate thermal throttling but also not decrease the performance. I also wanted to touch briefly on applications that will stress the CPU and GPU at the same time, like the Adobe Suite for video editing. 
Dave2D did a great video review on this laptop and discussed how he just couldn't get good performance out of it no matter how much he undervolted or underclocked both the CPU and GPU. See a link to his video in the description below. The good news is that undervolting will work for gaming because most of the time games are stressing only the GPU. As he said though, if you want a laptop for video editing, get something that has two fans. The Razer Blade Stealth and the MSI Prestige 15 are great options. See affiliated links in the description below. So in conclusion, undervolting an MSI Afterburner on the MSI Prestige 14 is a great way to get this laptop to game. The first 4-5 or five minutes without the undervolt might show a slight increase in performance, but this undervolt really starts to shine with any intensive game that will cause the GPU temperature to reach 74 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, use the undervolt. Will you buy the lightest, most affordable laptop with the GTX 1650 Max-Q? If so, please use my affiliated link in the description below. It really helps me out and makes videos like this possible. If you've already purchased the MSI Prestige 14, were you able to eliminate thermal throttling with this undervolt? Click like if you liked this video, click subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see more, and check out DansBestTech.com for a full written review.